So let's talk about the API side of things, now that I've got your attention and you're back awake again. All right, so the problem that we've always had with the integration of security into anything is, is it's too time consuming and it takes forever and I don't understand it. Well, then we brought this Xacta tool on board in 2010 and that's gonna implement the RMF and it's gonna make everything seamless and simple and easy. The problem is I still have to know how to log into the tool and I still have to know what my system does and how it operates to fulfill the RMF requirements. All right, so let's take that along. Let's try continuous monitoring. So we were from the first adopters of Continuum as well. Continuum's gonna reach out, it's gonna upload the scans, it's gonna provide feedback into, the, into those ongoing SSPs so that we can do that continuous monitoring piece. The problem is, is I still don't have something that does the RMF for me, right? And the first thing that people are gonna say is, now we're gonna move to the cloud. I don't own the system, I don't own the capability, I don't own the infrastructure, I don't even know what's going on because Amazon does all that for me, but they're not giving me the RMF. Well, they do have a small set for your platform, but the bigger piece is, is that once you move to the cloud, once you have the API integration, once you've got Xacta 360 rolling with Continuum, and you don't even need to take it all the way to 360 for some of these capabilities in Continuum to be facilitated, you'll have the insight into what is being provisioned on the fly, both from a capabilities perspective, a server instancing, down to the granularity of how your logging is changing when you throw out a new application or a new software load to your system architecture. You'll also know the spin-ups and teardowns of each one of your systems, the time on station. You'll be able to adapt, do adaptive modeling to your logs and to your security correlations so that you can then provide that to your integrated defense or your insider threat monitoring services that you're responsible to the IC for. So what we're gonna be doing here in the next few months is we're gonna be taking Exact out of AFJWIX and putting it in C2S Cloud. We're gonna be doing that for two major reasons. First is, is we believe we're gonna accelerate the capabilities of the tool by light years. All right, we're operating on an old antiquated AFJWIX infrastructure. We're gonna to move to the new model that the agency has done, and if it fails, it's all Hugh's fault, and I'll make sure that we get the blame for that. But when it succeeds, I'll also pat him on the back and say thank you very much for all your help. All right, once that's done, then we'll have the continuum capability and the exact capability already built into C2S. That extensibility for analyzing what's going on in the cloud via the APIs is the key critical component to doing continuous monitoring on the fly and for adapting your systems. Right now we have an RDT and E policy that would apply to our DevOps environment which would account for stand up and tear down of new systems capabilities. If I wanted to go throw an SQL server, if I wanted to go throw a Windows uh, server out there, if I wanted to go do an Apache web server, I would have all those capabilities built, but I have no way of adding or subtracting that to my SSP, keeping my AO informed. All right, I've got to protect my AO. Colonel Hayes looks at us every single day and says, we've got to make this faster, more seamless, more attributable, and we have to be able to give assurances to the highest levels at both air staff and the IC that we're doing our job as far as security is concerned without getting in the way of capabilities to the field. All right, that is what this is going to do. Those APIs will be able to reach down into the architecture, to the platform, and to the software and pull those nodal pieces out that you need so that you can update it on the fly. I can't stress enough that as you move your capabilities to the cloud, you set up your AMIs, you get them screened ahead of time, and you work with AWS to plug in these capabilities initially and then keep that ongoing as you do your spiral development because that way you won't be doing packages every three years, you won't be doing updated accreditations, we won't be doing assessments every three years as we send people out because we'll already have the assessment information loaded into the back end engine, we'll already have your package updated and you'll stay going on in the cloud into the future. Thank you.